huge upturn upturn in expenditures. In the first nine months from July 2012 through March 2013, the county had, uh, uh, incurred $3,888 worth of legal bills in a nine-month period. Mr. Chairman, if, if yes. I may, I, I apologize, Director Robinson. Uh, since we have the attorney on the phone, Mr. Whittington, uh, there's some consolidation of uh, a couple of items. We just want to make sure we're on... Uh, including some data that Director Robinson has is okay to speak to under Article 14 as part of the discussion. Yes, if it's for purposes of deciding what type of limitations to place on board members' contact with our office, you can discuss it. Thank you very much. We wanted to make sure we're on solid ground. And my apologies, Director I, I, I appreciate it. I believe it did, and that's why I started on it, but I'm glad you clarified that. However, so the first nine months of this last 18, there was a total of $3,888 in legal bills through our attorney's office. In the last nine months, of which we only have eight months' worth, because somehow the bill for April never got to us. But in, so out of eight of nine months, the total over the last nine months has been $24,145. Almost a six fold increase. And I think we need to have some to, to help control some of those costs. So that's my point is I believe we need to amend Article 14 for reporting purposes at the very least. So what do you want to propose? I would, I would move that any contact with legal counsel shall be reported to the board collectively, well, to the clerk of the board on a per contact basis. That's by staff and management? Board members. It's by board members. So anybody else can do whatever they want to? <laughs> <laughs> so let me restate the motion. That we amend Article 14 to require that any contact with legal counsel by a board member shall be reported to the clerk on a per contact basis. That's my motion. <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Uh, if there's a motion, you need a second before you discuss it. I'll second it. Okay, go. Any discussion? You're talking about reporting it to the clerk before the contact, after the contact, during the contact, what uh, and and how will this how will this control the cost? <coughs> the, if the if the clerk is aware after the contact how often the contacts, then it can be reported at the next meeting. I'm, I'm willing to amend the motion to whatever anybody else <coughs> would be better option. So I'm, I'm, I just started with one premise that we have contact, that we do it. The reason why I suggested the clerk is because then it's one person uh, that gets contacted. That's the clerk every time one of the other board members makes a contact. I have any other ideas, I'm happy to oblige. Would it not be better if one person contacted the attorney, i.e., for a matter of clarification of legality during or prior to a board meeting that director called the chairman and said, Mr. Chairman, 
could you call the attorney and get an answer on this? It, you know, I'm, I'm talking about things for the board, the, the action items and stuff like that. If you have a personal... There is no personal contact with the well, board. Well, if, if you have something that you really need to know what is going on, then call the chairman and say, can I call the chairman? But if you had the chairman call and talk to the attorney, you got maybe five list of items and one phone call. If you got four of us, five of us, call the attorney, now you got five phone calls. Or email contact. Or emails or whatever. I, I, I just, just threw that out. But I, I remember what our attorney shared with us in, in, at another time, that it, it's it's he it's not in our in the best interest of the board or the community to limit the contact to one person but if that's the opinion of the board then that's you know i'm i'll you know i respect the board's decision it's just a lot of time the board has the answers and if they come to the board instead of going to the attorney right away they would get the answers okay then i will with you know, if you withdraw your second, Mr. Chairman, I'll withdraw my motion. I withdraw my second. And I withdraw my motion. And I, I'm sure you'll entertain another motion. Yes, I will. Anything else? <laughs> so, so if I understand people, I will. My motion is that we direct board members to communicate to the chair any desire for questions or any for 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 consulting legal advice from our attorney that all that all correspondence written verbal or <laughs> electronically is done through the chair mr chair yes sir before motion is made on that, you might want to get information to what happens if someone has a complaint about the chair. Yeah. <laughs> that couldn't be possible. <laughs> what you can is complete with fantasy, but with the exception of the chair. Complaints with the chair. Or maybe add the chair or or, or the clerk. Or the clerk. There there's no uh, none of us are attorneys. If we need to talk to an attorney, we need to not talk to each other. We need to talk to an attorney. Well, that's what I think that's what, what the motion was, that it would go through the chair of the secretary, and that person would contact the attorney, which would cut down the cost. If you go with five things to the attorney rather than everybody calls on one thing, <coughs> So then he's got to he's got to answer for us, and then he's got to get the answer, and then call us back and do all That's that stuff, we and we can do box. it. Just, he's got a job. Just, but, Is there a second to that motion? No, not yet. Okay, no. then we shouldn't be discussing. Yeah, exactly. There was no motion yet, was there, Mr. Chair? Yes, there. Well, he he, he was trying to work through one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, put it on me. I'm not the attorney. <laughs> <laughs> My motion is that. I'll restate the motion that all all legal contact shall be directed through the chairman or the clerk of the board with our legal counsel. Okay, the, the chairman or the, or the clerk. Okay. All right, I'll second that one. I like that. Okay, and a first and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Okay.